sorry I'm late. I was... <sighs> oh. Who are you? You started without me. The Must be important. Be here soon. I can't think of any sort of character with. It's fine, Parker. I invented this equipment. I think what, I can handle. Otto. Is this Doctor Otto Octavius? Like I'm trying to think. Does Otto have a brother? Maybe a nice, kindly brother? But no, no, that that's completely wrong. All right. So, uh, it's definitely a different universe then. Because I was thinking, you know, everything sort of matches up with the comics. Everything's just more stylized and more futuristic, you know, in terms of the villains' designs. But uh, no, Otto Octavius. Are you okay? He's our friendly professor who we're helping out. But we're close. And rather than just straight up octopus tentacles that he's working on, it's cybernetic limbs. Is anyone hurt? No, it, it was all the, my fault. The energy levels exceeded our expectations. From a certain viewpoint, that's a very positive development. It doesn't smell very positive. I assure you, in the next phase... Let's not get ahead of ourselves. <coughs> Is there somewhere else we can discuss this? Maybe you should take the rest of the day off, Peter. But we'll talk later. Place your bets, ladies and gentlemen. When's he gonna go crazy, and how? What's gonna cause his rampage against Spider-Man? That was a disaster. How could the dampener have failed? I know Doc said take the day off, but I have to figure out what went wrong. Huh. You know, I'm not quite certain if this body matches up with Spider-Man's. Like, I'm trying to picture it. I don't think Spidey, the body we saw before, could actually fit in these clothes. He's too wide at the shoulders. Chest is bigger. I, yeah, this is like a, just a different person it looks like, but yeah, obviously it's Peter Parker. Alright, let's, uh, okay, so I can break out into a jog. Can't do anything else. Ooh, you are in bad shape, little guy. Yep, working on cybernetic limbs. Oh, that's pretty much all it can do at the moment. It's all fizzled out. Let's see what's wrong with you. And yeah, why did uh, Pete so readily blame himself. Did we throw off Otto's concentration when we came in, started talking to him, and then everything just started blowing up? Or was it just because we were late and he needed our expertise? Octavius Industries. Okay, yeah. Bit different from what I expected. Everything with Electro and Scorpion and just all these different characters showing up in the trailers, it's just as you'd expect. But Octo Octavius, completely different. Alright, let's fix this thing. Circuit burned out. Damn it. If I had been here to do the pre-check, I would have caught this. Yep, yeah, okay. Don't really need to read this because... It's looking like a very simple puzzle. Oh boy, I hope this is uh, confined to the lab area and I'm not going to have to start hacking into things and doing all sorts of these uh, little puzzle sections. And... done. Okay, need to reroute servo control. Because we all know that's what people were clamouring for in the previous Spider-Man games. More of these types of sections. I mean, come on, Spidey needs to be the bomb squad again. Okay, need to... Oh, I see, I see, I see. So there are tiny, tiny, tiny little arrows on the sides of these nodes. Or on some of them at least. And they direct the way the current flows. So, yeah, I'll do a wrong one in a moment. Uh, let's see, would this be 
Yeah, see, the arrow on the left pointing the wrong way, energy will not flow through it. So it's getting a tiny bit more complicated, a little bit more complex. Yep, yeah, that one's completely wrong. So some of them have tiny little arrows, some of them have none. In which case it's free game, whatever you want. Nice. Okay, what next? And uh, another one. Voltage. In order to set the power voltage control, you must also meet its charge requirement. Some circuit pieces provide a positive or negative charge. So I think I'm just getting the numbers up right. Maybe. Okay, so let's put this red one in first. I think that's taking the power down. Oh, the writing's so tiny. Right in the middle of these nodes, there's a plus one and a plus two. So I'll put a plus two there, and a plus two there. That brings it up to three. And then once we go onto these sections, it changes from the power sources to these things to direct the charge. Finished. There we go. Hey, success, success, success. See, Otto, that's all you had to do. Let's see if that worked. Okay, so uh, not too complicated. If they get more complex, uh, I think I'll just skip through them. You know, I'll actually play them. There is actually an option to skip through puzzles when you go to the settings. But uh, I'll play through them and I'll cut the footage if it takes too long. Because we want to see more That's of Spider-Man. Materials for the prosthetics. He asked me to review his work if I had time. May as well dig in now. Not simple little puzzles. Okay, let's have a quick look around first. See if there's anything I can pick up or use or. We've got samples of every type of prosthetic in existence. Look at our first volunteer subject, Lance Corporal Texador. Lost his arm overseas and now just wants to hug his daughter again. Texador. Don't recognize the name. Might be a character, might just be no one. Yep, yeah, Otto's a real good guy just trying to help people. What's going to break him? Turn him into a maniac. Don't think Dr. Octavius' optimism has ever been shaken. Probably those guys are gonna do it. End up taking what he loves away from him. Taking away his grant or Graduation. firing him or feel so long ago. I interned for Doc in college. He made me realize I could do as much good for the world in a lab coat as I could in tights. Or whatever sort of deal he has going on here. Okay, don't know the password for that, I guess. So can't use Doc's it. made huge breakthroughs his whole career, but he's always been upstaged. Usually by Oscorp. This time, it's going to be different. Can't use it just yet, but look at it. Huge, glowing, very bright monitor. Probably going to use it at some point. Yeah, hack into it and find out all of... Just yesterday, we saw an extraordinary reaction cascade in the Limbic Bridge. We're looking for results, not cascades, Doctor. And results you'll have. Trust me, our work grows more promising every day. That reaction cascade was pretty awesome. Find out all of Otto's nefarious deeds. Yeah, this nice guy act he's putting on, it's just that, an act. We're trying to improve the prosthetics hardware. 
I should review what Doc's been developing and double check his work. Okay, work on more circuit projects. We get EXP and other stuff. And we unlock more throughout the game. So yeah, I'll do all of these in my own time. Doc was trying to improve the actuator's granularity. Because, uh, yeah, I'm pretty certain you don't want to sit through and watch me do all these. And whilst this one's pretty simple and there's nothing new to it at all, they're obviously going to get more difficult over time. And it's going to take longer, and it's just going to be a lot of faffing around. Nice. Super smooth response. Oh, he's so See excited. If we can tune the prosthetic's grip force. Yeah, so just showing you these so you, you get it. There's nothing else to it than this. And I'll do all the others in my own time. Plus any others that show up in the game if it isn't confined to just this area. That's better. Should avoid bone crushing handshakes at least. Okay. Improving the tech. Wonderful. Anything else for me to explore? Okay, well, I've been over in that corner. Not on this middle bit, though. Ah, some tombs. Late nights in this lab. Glad Doc keeps the snacks stocked up. We should get more of those little cheese squares, though. Love the coffee at work. God bless that grandmother. Okay, that seems to be it for the kitchen. Today's the day. Grant review. We're ready. The work has progressed at a remarkable pace. I honestly never thought we'd get the tensile actuator back to an acceptable power. But Parker, the boy has an eye for guerrilla science like none other. Just as I was ready to order a custom machine replacement part, he returned from the hardware store with a bottle of solvent and a toothbrush. Bang! Actuator problem resolved. The boy is a genius. <sighs> a chronically late genius. It's already ten after. Where is he? Surely he couldn't have forgotten today's review. Sorry I let you down, Doc. Wonder if I could 3D print a web shooter. Can't believe I've never tried that. Yeah, we'd probably make things easier when they get broken. Peter, thank you again for doing these blind reviews. Peer review is the backbone of great science. You know, as we've prepped for the upcoming fitting, I felt an itch in the back of my brain. Is this really the best method of limb replacement? Silly, I know, but I keep thinking, might there be another way? Like giant tentacles that can rip people in two? Okay, I think that's everything. Let's use the spectrograph. Doc was testing a new contact material for the prosthetic. It's the symbiote, isn't it? He's found a symbiote. That's the unknown. Oh, this seems uh, pretty trivial as well. For the moment, obviously. It's going to get much, much more difficult. So, uh, yeah, for the moment, just match up the lines. Oh. Such a genius. I, I could definitely be a top-tier scientist. Definitely. That's what this game is telling me. Gel polymer composite. Strong, but there's a lot of impedance. I'm a genius. Tell Doc to keep looking for other materials. Uh, right. Oh, there we go. I should get out of here before I screw things up for Doc even more. So I can keep on using it, and it's the same as with the uh, more tech-based side of things. I can research more biology and find more unknown substances. Hmm. What was Doc working on with this? Gain more XP. And little bonus things. Yeah. Once again, 
I'll do all of these in my own time. I'll just show you the next one that's actually unlocked. Just so you know that there's nothing special. It doesn't suddenly become a, an amazing thing where I'm fighting through bad guys, but enemies start busting through the lab. Although Looks that may like happen later. Prosthetic contact material. Oh, some unknown substances require multiple fragments to be stacked in a column. If two absorption lines overlap, they become thicker. Okay, simple enough. Aha! But yeah, these were all just uh, simple puzzles for me to solve. Nothing more to it than that. I'll do all of them in my own time once I unlock them all, and uh, we'll see if I get anything special for my troubles. Oh, you know what? Complete every single challenge, bonus boss at the end, Dr. Otto Octavius. Because, you know... Hydrogel IPN. This looks promising. He might... be a great tissue interface. He might not go completely mental in this game. Maybe. Okay, I think that's everything. I'll just have another quick run around. See if I missed anything. But I think it was mostly just looking at stuff and... the biology and technology sections that I could get more missions from. Little mini puzzle missions. Yep, I think just leave. Was your research assistant late today? What sort of staff are you employing with our money, Doctor? I'll ask you to leave Peter out of this, please. He's young, still learning, but he's indispensable. A genius in the making. Wow. Thanks, Dr. Octavius. It's all an act. He's evil, really. Okay, out we go, back into the big wide city. Oh, and as this loading screen's reminding me, our costume is still trashed. It's all dusty and ripped apart. Yeah. But at least we completed our other job. Spider-Man, it's Yuri. Fisk make it to Rikers yet? Not Rikers. Our boy qualifies for the VIP treatment. He's in the raft. Ah, joining Scorpion, Electro, and the rest. This should be honored. That's a steamed company. Can you swing by the precinct? Got an issue that could benefit from your unique skill set. For you, Yuri? Anything. I'm on my way. Yeah, you got it. Huh. Looks like Jameson's got a new episode out. Wonder what my number one fan thinks about the fist takedown. Yeah, I think we're listening to a podcast or something. This is Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, where listeners like you discuss the issues affecting our city with Pulitzer Prize winning two-time. Two-time. Pulitzer Prize winning former publisher of the Daily Bugle. Hey, plug the book. And, and as always, if you order Mr. Jameson's book, Spider-Man, Threat or Menace, within 24 hours of our broadcast, you'll get an autographed copy at no extra charge. No personalizations. Don't ask. Not gonna get it. Welcome to Just the Facts with J. Jonah Jameson, alerting you to the threats you don't even know about. Let's dive right into the calls. Speed. Okay, so not for nothing, you gotta give Spider-Man respect for taking down Wilson Fisk, right? I mean, one last mob boss is good for everyone. Is that right? Tell me, are you a police officer? Prosecutor? Maybe an award-winning reporter with decades on the job like me? Uh, no, I'm a plumber. Oh, good. And fix my toilet and shut up! Let me explain something to you about crime bosses. Soon as one goes down, every punk with a gun, a tracksuit, and a drawer full of gold chains decides he's the next godfather. We're gonna have a gang war in the streets, but does that whip headed moron give a damn? Of course not. It got on TV. That's what counts. <laughs> yeah, well, I can get copper pipe without paying kickbacks now. So until that gang war starts, I'm on the webhead side. And you'll be singing a different tune when three new mobs are lining up to charge you triple for that same pipe. Or just break your legs. Goodbye! <sighs> Someday, Jonah, I'm gonna get you to say something nice about me. 
Someday. Yeah, sure, new gangs and stuff might move in without the big kingpin of crime in charge, but what if I just beat all of them, huh? Now that you quit smoking, what do you tell people when you come up here? That I need a break from their crap. Fair enough. So, why'd you call? Need a date to the policeman's ball? You got a black and white suit? Uh, well... No ball this year anyway. We spent too much integrating Oscorp surveillance tech. Worth it though, right? It was. Till an hour ago. The system went down. Citywide. Every tower. How? They tell me someone sabotaged the central server, and now all the towers are offline. Hmm. Inside job? Maybe. We'll figure it out later. Right now we need to get the towers back online. Fast. And you called me? Aw, that's sweet. I called someone I could trust. Plus, the signals are scrambled and we have no idea how to fix it. Ooh. I love a challenge. You break it, you buy it. I thought you trusted me. Let's take a look at this tower. <laughs> 